Sometimes in photography gear matters, and other times it does not. The gear debate ranges in opinions and each of us will come to our own conclusions based off our own unique circumstances. I believe once you are past owning the basics you need for photography, a camera and perhaps a tripod, gear becomes a want rather than a need unless it's limiting your photography, such as a broken camera. We are back at the scene of the crime today to finish what we started. Last time I was here, I got a wide shot, a low angle composition of this stream using this water, this cascade as my foreground subject. And then I dropped my camera in the river, but we won't talk about that just yet. Now, originally I wanted to grab a second shot, focusing on the larger cascade in the background underneath this bridge. As you crop in close and exclude everything around it, it gives a sense of secrecy that this is a hidden place. It is a simple horizontal shot and I do think I will prefer the image that I took last time, but I thought the comparison would be interesting as it just shows you how two different focal lengths, two different compositions in the same space can create such differing impressions of a location. It's time to leave this area and go and find something different to photograph. Also, look at the size of this leaf. It's massive! Some of you may be wondering, Courtney, is that not a working D750 there? Why, yes. Yes, it is. Thank you for noticing. This is not the body that I drowned several weeks ago. This is a replacement second-hand body and lens from MPB, not sponsored, to tie me over for a couple of weeks while I get my insurance claim sorted. It's going to take much longer than I originally anticipated, so I figured I may as well pick something up and it will become my spare or second body in the future, which everybody seems to have a spare body but me, so useful. After taking my camera for a swim, I did a lot of thinking about gear. Old, new, upgrading, mirrorless, and there was only one solution that I could come up with that made me happy. Sticking with what I've got, I have no desire to upgrade, no desire to switch to a mirrorless system and there's no particular reason for that apart from that this is a great camera, this works for me. And as I said in my last video, if this could last me a couple more years, I'd be very content with that. Saying all of this, the insurance claim has not been sorted yet, so I could end up with a different body which I'm not opposed to. But all I know is that I have to have one of these in my camera bag, whether it's as a main body or a spare. I've just stumbled across this great area that I'm about to explore 
I have no idea where I am, but I'll worry about that later. <laughs> but I've just spotted this leaf hanging from a tree, suspended between spiderweb, and I thought it would make a cracking shot. Now I only have my standard zoom and my wide angle with me today because I didn't really want to carry anything else. So we're at 120 millimeters on the standard zoom. We might have to crop a little in post-processing, but I think it's a pretty cool shot. A lot of you have recommended that I make the jump to mirrorless and I get why you have suggested that. But in all honesty, I'm not particularly interested. And again, there's no specific reason for it. I'm just not the type of person who follows the trends or has the desire to constantly upgrade my tech, whether it's a camera or a phone or a laptop or whatever, to the latest up-to-date modern thing. I personally believe that Upgrading my camera will not improve my photography in any way. No matter what body I use, my ability to take photographs is still the same. You may agree or disagree with that, and that is fine. But I just don't feel the pressure. I don't feel the need to go switching my kit out for something different. But then camera companies need you to upgrade because that is how they make their money. So at some point in the future, yes, I will probably upgrade my kit and switch to a mirrorless system. But for now, this works for me. I'm comfortable with this. I have no problems with it. I'm quite happy. And I'm pretty relieved to have a working D750 again. I am indifferent to upgrading because I see my camera as a tool and this tool is capable and does not limit my photography. Circling back to gear being a want rather than a need, I have no reason to upgrade nor any incentive to financially invest in something that probably won't alter my work in any significant way, at least at the moment. I think I have just spent a whole video talking about the fact that I love my D750 and that I have a new one. So I think that's enough of me today. I will update you on the insurance claim if anything interesting happens with it, but otherwise, thank you for watching.